this is our time. We will create a web server. Mm -hmm. It is very easy. For example, I I need database adapter, okay. XML, VPN project, and I will uh, not combine. Okay, then I will cut the result. So this time, come to a remote server. Open this. I will create a new uh, application. Mm -hmm. Then in application, I will select SOA application. Okay. Then I rename, for example, search for employee. For example, I will enter the employee name. And based on the employee number, I will get the salary of the employee. Okay, I will get the salary of the employee. Next, in the renew, just click again. Next, I have select employee composite. Okay, and finish. This is for a time that the requirement document will be created. So this is the first step. Mm -hmm. Just I create a project. So my project name is uh, now this uh, information will be created. This is for some time. <laughs> uh, this is my database. This is my database. I will show you our table, entire table. Mm -hmm. Most data include inside the table. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is by default screen now. It's called. Now, uh, this is my from, from here you can view different table in SCART schema. We are loading. So for example, this is the entire table. Entire table. Yeah. I will show some data in this table. Mm -hmm. Click on data. This is the structure of the table. And here is the table. For example, and this is the entire number, entire name, job, manager, hybrid. This is the civil field. So I will enter uh, employee employee number mm -hmm. so in response i will got the name mm -hmm. of the employee yes. and the salary of the employee okay i will do this so come to here so our uh, pre requirement that i has created so our, this uh, project name is web service for employee salary mm -hmm. so what is my first tip i will create uh, a local database offline database mm -hmm. which type of database offline uh, offline database so i will come here and select me Application mm -hmm. in here a database type. Here is database type. Applying database. Okay. So in this way I can access it. So I will uh, control N. What? Control N or click here. Okay. You can click or click here. So there are many ways. For example, control N. So I will select database. Applying database. Also. Mm -hmm. I will create locally a table for employee table. So from here, I will select the applying database object. Object means one table. Okay. Okay. It is not the mandatory step, but I will do this. Okay. Here they also need for connection. Mm -hmm. So I will create a connecting connection for database. For example, this is the name of give any name. This is give Scott C1 C spot. Tiger information log one nine six log one dot sixty four dot one one five this is O R C N and now this is the connection now this is success okay next Next, 
Okay. So here is a different table available in this. So I will select the inline table. Yeah, just for step by step. For next, next. Here are three options. For example, you already import some table, so you uh, select the case. Mm -hmm. If you want to do some changes, so you can uh, alter. Mm -hmm. So you can say, this is your first time, so you can create. Okay. Next, this is the summary. You can. So in this one step, I I do two things. I create database connection here. Mm -hmm. These are the addition material. For example, connection. I create create a connection as well as I create the offline database. So here, uh, if I enlarge this, so this is my offline database. Mm -hmm. Yes. I explore. For example, this is employee. Uh -huh. I just create a copy, a copy of the original table. Uh -huh. So we can, uh, for example, I, for I alter something here, so they will not affect the original data. Okay. Mm. Oh, okay. Also the data, right? Yeah, also the data. The they are just for uh, taking the data for time, locally. And now I will create, uh, so click on SOA, I will cre create XML schema. XML, XML schema is used for what? For connection to, to from database server. Okay. The database connection. They, they, are, they are just, for example, they are container. Okay. For, for this container, you will take the input input value. Okay. Yes. And we will invoke database some other place. So from the database, the response will come. Okay. So this response is coming and going will come to this container. Okay. Something. Oh yeah. For example, I will select the schema, then click here, then select XML. XML from XML is here. Mm -hmm. This is XML. Okay. okay, I will select the XML schema. Okay. Uh, just rename any name. Okay, I just name name name. Okay, yes, no, nothing dot XT. Nothing, but okay. just rename. Here you can, for example, how you can access this okay. XML schema. Mm -hmm. So you can rename this. For example, here the by default example dot org. For example, I will say. At least. What is your name? Hafiz. Hafiz. Okay, my Hafiz. Dot com. Hafiz. Oh, no problem. Okay. In, 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 you can name any name. Okay. And this is just leave it. Prefix for what? Uh, no, no. For example, I input H. For what? If, if we did it. No problem? No problem. Okay. Let, leave it. <laughs> yeah, no, okay. Okay. <laughs> so this is the schema. Okay. Okay. But you need to say this is the empty. So I will create, yes. I, I, I uh, rename here, for example, uh, query, for example, I just rename, okay, query, query, okay, query, data, range, or, employee, so, okay, you can, any name okay so after this this is the different related item okay so from here you can select this and select sequence yeah. after sequence you select element mm -hmm. so this element is our un input mm -hmm. okay okay for now we will create a uh, one another element for uh, response for example i select here I select this element so this I rename this for example this will be our response response here I, I will same step this element for example I am interesting in employee name employee name yes. employee underscore name okay. and, and I am also interesting in uh, Employee salary. salary. Yes. So I select this sequence and select the element. Mm. So I will, for example, here do mm. three. Employee underscore. Right. 
now I create this but I will assign some data type for example uh, this is our integer enter employee number for example so they in initial state they have no data type for example I say the employee number will be integer so xsd this is the extension xsd okay then I will enter integer okay if you I, I end so the related item will be up here so I will select the integer for example I select the integer mm -hmm. okay the name will be in the format of string right click and set type so xsd dot s so string okay celery will be uh, integer float double integer for example I say and float for example sometimes okay. comma will also yes, come because sometimes there is a decimal yeah float. so float so there is no Restricted. relation with the database no 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 okay you can do this now you can save this save your data if you not save it is necessary to save it will but next step we will need this ah, so wait wait for some time now we have only one uh, schema yes. okay we have only one schema yes. next time when we connect to our database uh -huh. yeah we uh, when I add a database adapter uh -huh. so one schema will be created automatically for database okay okay later I will, I will show that